What can you do to help reduce gas production by bacteria in your digestive system? The best first approach is to avoid trigger foods in your diet, such as milk and dairy if you're lactose intolerant. If you can't quite pinpoint what it is you're eating that's making you gassy, keep in mind that it usually takes 6 to 10 hours after you eat to have food enter your colon, where gas production can begin. Keeping a food diary is a helpful way to track the foods that make you bloated. Or, if you are lactose intolerant, you can take the enzyme lactase before you eat lactose-containing foods or find products where the lactose has already been digested. If you take fibre supplements, consider taking ones made with methyl cellulose, which is harder for bacteria to digest. Science supports probiotics as well. Think of probiotics as good bacteria that can help your digestive and overall health. For bloating, certain bacteria like the lactic acid producing lactobacillus and bifidobacterium make less gas than other bacteria. If you build up these bacteria in your colon through your diet, like yogurt or probiotic supplements, you may have less bloating. Also, don't underestimate the power of a good bowel movement. If you are constipated, the more time you go without a bowel movement, the more time bacteria eat your stool and make gas. And if all else fails, there are special undergarments equipped with carbon that absorb questionable aromas. Here's to a less bloated life. Everyone hang in there and be safe during this pandemic. Together, we can do anything. And please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Together, we can also make the world less gassy. Cheers!